You have a daughter out of control. Yes, definitely. Okay. Extremely. You agree she's out of control? Yes. According to the two of you, she's had over 17 police reports. Yes, sir. Had to call the police 17 times. Yes, sir. Okay. She uses profanity, uh, steals cell phones. She's overdosed on pills. Yes. Right? Quite a few times. More than once. Smokes yes. marijuana. She cut a family member's hand with a box cutter. Yes. Correct? Okay, she swung a bat at you. Put holes uh, in the wall. Yeah, she's kicked and punched, put holes in the wall, gave you a black eye, spit on spit you. Spit on me several times. Okay, uh, poured dish soap on the kitchen floor. Yes, sir. You we slipped in it, yes. hurt your knee, uh, caused you to tear your ACL, tried to break the TV, lamp, sunglasses, That's just de destructive. Very. Kicked the ferret's cage, threw <clears throat> glass of milk at you. Yes. Uh, beat up a classmate, bodily injury we're talking yeah. about yes, here. Yes, sir. Uh, expelled from school, sneaks out of the house, jumped out a second story window. Yes. And injured herself. Yes, yes she sprained her ankle. Okay, so I mean, this is a, this isn't like had a bad day. Oh. oh, This is a pattern of behavior, right? Very, this yeah. is a pattern very of behavior. much so. So what's going on here? Yeah, I think today is a really good lesson in how we sometimes have to separate the behavior from the individual. Uh, I hope I made it very clear that this child's behavior is absolutely, unequivocally unacceptable. So th th there's, there's no mitigation of that uh, for her to attack people, hit people, destroy property, uh, go out windows, put herself in danger. That behavior is unacceptable, no question about it. My focus is why is she doing it? And I think when we look at this, she is a very insightful young, young girl. She's got a lot of intelligence and she's saying, look, I I'm doing this to protect myself. I just put my hands on people and it's, it's hard for me not to because I feel like that's the only way I can get through to them. My opinion is that people resort to violence when they run out of socially acceptable ways to express themselves. Is that what you're saying? I can't, they don't hear me, they're not listening? Yes. Uh, so I get frustrated and just want to hit them. So, you know, if, if you see your children behaving in a way that's non-productive, that's self-destructive, you've got to ask yourself why. People don't do things without a payoff. There's some reason they do it. They're getting something out of it. What is she getting out of it? She's getting out of it that she is protecting herself. She said, I should have never let her get close to me. I wouldn't have gotten hurt. She's saying that about her own mother. So what you see here is the payoff is she is afraid to let people get close to her or she'll get hurt. And so the best way to keep people from getting close to you is to push them away get them before they get you. So look for payoffs. People don't do things without a reason. And here, I'm sure everybody expects me to land on this girl with both feet for this ridiculous behavior. It is bad behavior. But I'm more interested in fixing the why than I am focusing on the behavior. And that's why we're gonna help this girl. Today, I think, was the first time anybody ever sat down and actually listened to her. It was the first time, but it won't be the last. Make sure that you do the same thing and talk to your kids. You may not be the only voice in their ear, but make sure you're the best voice in their ear.